And welcome back to the Morning Blend with our pet project. Well, just like people, our pets can get heat stroke and heat exhaustion. But unlike people, however, they cannot regulate their body temperature in the same way we can. Yeah, Rochelle Lejeune is back from the mm -hmm. Wisconsin Humane Society. Keep our furry friends safe this summer. Mm -hmm. Great to see you. You yeah. too. And you, you brought too. along Annie. We she love is Annie. just adorable. I did, isn't she? She's, She's so, so sweet. sweet. She really enjoys it up here. She's such a cuddle bug. She's only two months old. So oh, um, yeah. she's going to be a little bit larger of a breed of dog. But um, two months. Months old. She does. She's a cuddler. She slept in her crate on the way here, so she's really got a great start to life. She's only two months old and available at Ozaki campus in Stockville when we open at two today. And she has litter Aww. mates? She does have another litter mate, okay. yes. They're already vaccinated, spayed, and microchipped, so they're all set to go home. And so. it's another girl, right? So I think so, yes. Yep. Hopefully tonight they'll be cuddling in their new home. Yeah. <laughs> I think yes. she's going to go quickly. Yeah. She's adorable. Yeah. And oh, it just breaks my heart thinking about pets um, yes. in hot cars. Oh, or yeah. in situations during the summer where they're overheated. They're getting older. And, you know, now is the time to start thinking about that because as we start going outside more and we're, you know, going for walks, we have to keep in mind that their safety is of importance too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we take them for walks and we're outside, you know, keeping in mind that they can get very overheated, especially when we're walking in the heat of the day. We always recommend walking on the sidewalk in the early morning, in the evening when the pavement isn't quite so hot because yeah. their pads can actually get burns on them and they're much closer to the asphalt, oh. so the dogs can actually get overheated pretty quickly just being closer to the asphalt. Yeah, yeah. that's so. true. So, if it, and panting is a, a sign of that, right? Yes, yes. Dogs don't sweat like we do. They actually sweat through their through panting. Yeah. Um, they also sweat through their pads on their paws, which um, not everyone knows. But oh. when the air is really hot and all they're breathing is that hot air, they can get very overheated quickly. So um, a couple of signs again are you know excessive panting drooling, um, bright red gums, um, oh. vomiting, diarrhea, um, even a little bit of confusion and disorientation yeah. when it starts to progress. So really oh, keeping an eye on that. Right we were talking during the commercial break about yeah. just feeling sad when you see dogs in a truck bed yes. um, for the for heat reasons, but also yeah. because they're they're just, you know, in there kind of free floating right. and not restrained. And Absolutely. The sun down on those on the bottom of that bed, yes. that can be really hot. Yeah, a lot of people think about dogs inside cars getting overheated, yeah. um, which they certainly can. On a 78 degree day, a car can, you know, the temperature inside can be up to 160 degrees oh, in a matter of minutes. And the wow. same thing, we always say we don't think of truck beds, but that hot metal can really yeah. damage the pads of their paws. So so um, not only is it unsafe back there, but it can really, if, with the sun beating down, increase the temperature for them. Mm -hmm. What do you do if you don't have air conditioning in your house and that's where your dog lives? Yeah, when they're inside. Well, we always recommend keeping spaces open to cooler areas, so a basement, mm -hmm. oh, tile yeah. floors, making sure, you know, um, that they're in the tiles, um, keeping their water refreshed so that the temperature isn't dropping in the water, and just making sure they have plenty of water. They're going to drink more when it's hot because they're losing through sweating. Oh, right. So, Fresh water. Oh, we teased this earlier, and I'm curious to know, are there certain breeds that mm -hmm. are more susceptible mm -hmm. to heat and problems with the There are, heat? absolutely. Um, we, we see a lot of older dogs having, struggling with that, um, just because they can't regulate their heat as easily as a younger dog. Um, also dogs with some kind of heart condition and overweight dogs. Oh, so yeah. keep in mind those, those different types of dogs, as well as those little kind of um, flat-faced dogs, like pugs, shih tzus, oh, yeah. they can't breathe Persian well, cats, right? right, they can't pant as effectively, and that's Ones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So keep that in mind and always, you know, again, keep your walk short, keep oh. exercise sessions short yeah. um, because they're not always in shape. When we hit the ground running in the summer, yeah. we have to let them catch up to our speed because they can overheat just if they're not in shape. What, what do you do if you see some of those signs mm -hmm. and how do you know it's going into like a heat stroke? Like yes. what, what should we be aware of? Well, when it first starts to show any kinds of symptoms, get them to a cooler area. Okay. If they're panting excessively, drooling excessively, don't wait until, you know, it progresses to vomiting or diarrhea. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, move them to a cooler area, cool them off with cool water, not ice cold water, okay. not ice. Oh, shock them. Right. Yeah. Just help <laughs> them to acclimate slowly and then call your veterinarian. Okay. Um, so really being mindful of that because it can progress quite quickly, especially if we're out at any kind of event or function yeah. um, where it's sunny and, uh, you know, we might not be paying as close attention. So be extra mindful in the summer. Yeah. yeah. Great <laughs> tip. So I love yeah. that. Annie's available today. You yeah. open at 2 o'clock. We do. At yeah. the Ozaki campus, which yeah. is located in oh. Sockville on Decorah Street. You can go to wihumane.org mm -hmm. to find out more. Call them at 414-ANIMALS. And again, Annie has a litter mate too, yeah, so there's so one of her and then she has a sibling yeah. too who's available for adoption. She's just the sweetest. Thanks so Great much, Great to Rochelle. see you. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh.